Hey 2025 Jaguars, half of the year is left of our junior year, which means the PTP is due. A personal transition plan, PTP, is a tailored plan for each high school student. It's designed to help us smoothly move from high school to our next steps, like college or a career. This plan includes setting goals, finding resources, showing progress, and self-evaluation. Remember, it's a joint effort involving the student, parent, and school staff of, during high school. But why is this necessary? Let me ask you a question. What will you do once you graduate high school? Do you honestly know the answer to that question? If yes, great. If not, then that's what the PTP is for. Each graduating class has a specific Google Classroom dedicated to turning in these assignments. If you do not have access, the Google Classroom code is Y-G-E-A-P-4-H. The PTP Google Classroom has access to different documents to complete the PTP intended to assist you post high school, separated into four different categories. Section one of the PTP focuses on planning post high school goals and self-reflection. You also learn how to search and compare colleges and universities you may be interested in. Section two, academics, provides you a glimpse into the credits that you have already earned and lets you plan out how your final year of high school to help you earn the required credits for graduation. Section three, career, is full of useful information such as a career interest surveys and real world skill building such as a cover letter, resume, references, and even a mock interview to prepare you to enter the workforce. Section four focuses on post high school education planning where you can start your personal statement that can then be modified for each university you plan to attend and for applying for scholarships. Finally, this section helps you to search for potential scholarships you are eligible for. Some of these items may take time to complete, but luckily there will be dedicated time during STARS to complete and assist these items, so don't stress. Looking at the PTP as a whole, you can see that it will prepare you by tracking what you need in order to graduate high school, discover future goals, help you prepare for documents required for job applications, teach you how to have a successful job interview, and help you find scholarships and grants to support your future education. All of these things are important for you to know so once you graduate, you're prepared for whatever you may do. To stay organized, don't forget to make a folder in your Google Drive. To do this, go into Google Drive, press the new button, create a new folder, and label it with your name, followed by personal transition plan. Don't forget to share it with the college and career counselor, Mrs. Kelly Frias at kelly.frias at k12.hi.us. We asked some seniors from the class of 2024 to reflect on their experience with the PTP. Here is what they had to say. Before the PTP, I did know what I wanted to do after high school because as a kid growing up, a lot of teachers asked what we wanted to be in the future or what we wanted to do so that we have a purpose to look forward to. And so taking us on to like little like trips around the island, it really opened up my options to pick what I wanted to be in the future. I knew I knew what I wanted to do after school. It was college and then eventually um, a ramp agent or a pilot for Hawaiian Airlines or I wanted to be a private cook or a cook in a restaurant. Before the PTP, I had no clue what I wanted to do. There was so much options that was given to me. My parents always giving me random things that they saw online that I could do, but I had no certain thing that I wanted to choose for after high school. After completing the PTP, I did know what I wanted to do after high school because I feel like once I joined high school, the teachers here really opened up a lot of what was in the PTP and helped me guide myself to like a more set pathway into like thinking like I'm gonna go to like the colleges you pick. It could like help you get the degree you want so that you can be a better like doctor or nurse or anything you want it to be. Yes I do because of my 
um, graduating counselor or my college counselor. Uh, she helped me a lot with understanding how it works and what classes I could take in college. And After completing the PTP, it helped me get a better understanding of what choices I can do. Like I can choose what things I want to focus on, what career lifestyle I'd like to have, but I didn't choose just yet what I wanted to do, which I have to get to soon. Um, I'm going to pay for school through FAFSA and scholarships. Well, as much as scholarships as I can and whatever my parents can like full. I want to pay through working and scholarships because due, thanks to my college counselor, um, she helped me a lot with the scholarships part. When we were going over the scholarships, it helped us to find scholarships that is available, especially for specific things that helped us to learn what to look for when signing up for scholarships, what benefits we can use to apply to them. The PTP's career section did help me get a job and I used it in order to help prepare me for a job interview. I believe that it will benefit others because it kind of serves as a guidance for those who are looking for getting a job and how to prepare for it. I did not struggle with the personal statement because I'm in like an AVID class so it's more easier because the teacher helps you explain or gives you options on what to write as a topic. So it wasn't really that bad to write the personal statement. Yes, I struggled very much with the personal statement. It was hard to find good attributes about me to write on a piece of paper. Like I know I have some, it was just hard to find them and um, trot it down on the paper. And it, the easiest part about it was just presenting myself to or in the personal statement. But yeah, that was about it. Um, the personal statement had me struggling just a little because it made me talk about myself, what personal experiences I had, but when it helped me to use with my resume and stuff like that, I was able to get more comfortable writing my personal statement out. The only parts that would be struggling for any student, I feel like, would be finding scholarships because when, when students look at scholarships, they kind of look for the easy apply scholarships that everyone goes to. Those are mainly like the no essay scholarships. You just put in your information and you apply right away. Those scholarships are so hard to get. And so that's why not a lot of students get scholarships. But the scholarships that are for inter-island and essay scholarships, they're more harder and you have like a more higher chance of receiving. The easiest part to me was definitely the mock interview because um, I'm a very social person and I developed a lot of social skills, which I think is important for everyone if you want to have a job and especially if you want to finish the PTP because you need like three references and of course the mock interview. Yeah, that was the easiest one. I think some easy stuff was finding colleges that we could apply for. I think there was definitely a lot of easy parts where you could get things done on a pretty fast pace and it really wasn't too much of a difficulty to do. Some of the harder things I had to do was finding out what requirements I needed when signing up for my when signing up for colleges, looking for them, and what else we need to take care of like class wise in high school. Definitely the hard parts for sure. The main one is probably the personal statement because that one you have to take a lot of time to reflect and you have to put a lot of time and effort into describing who you are in 700 words about. The people who rush through the PTP, I feel like they do not benefit because they don't, to them, I feel like they don't realize the importance of a PTP to them. I feel like they understand that a PTP is just a graduation requirement, so they don't really care about it as long as that they satisfy the staff member who assigned the PTP out to all the students. I think completing the PTP in general just is a huge benefit and advantage overall. Um, it's not just a requirement, it's something that's meant to give you the skills you need to succeed. So whether you go fast or slow, I think you'll stand to benefit from all the skills that you get through. 
Oh no. I had to take like a whole summer course to help me with that PTP because brushing it like means you're just skipping everything practically. So it'll, it helps you get a better understanding of what you want to do after high school. When you complete the PTP, you will have finished one of the largest requirements for graduation. As a senior, if you need a modified schedule for work or off-campus college lessons, only those with finished PTPs will be allowed to modify their schedules. If you want that, finish the PTP before the deadline of May 17, 2024. Take your time with these items on your PTP and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Good luck, Jaguars!